Hi there, thanks for stopping by. My name is Irina Yashinshaw, speaker, author, mentor, liberator of innovation, creativity and leadership. The topic for this video blog is intrapreneurialism and more specifically, intrapreneurialism in government. Is it an oxymoron? And I pose this question because recently I've been doing a lot of work in the public sector and I wanted to share some of my experiences. But a little bit of background first. Unlike the term entrepreneur, the term intrapreneur is a relatively recent one. In essence, it's the act of behaving like an entrepreneur whilst working within a large organisation. In other words, it's the demonstration of business acumen, personal leadership and creative problem-solving abilities that enables employees to find and explore and implement worthy ideas that will help the organisation to be future ready and highly relevant. Now, in a fast moving world, entrepreneurs can be the source of energy and creativity that helps an organisation, especially one steeped in bureaucracy, to find and exploit change and innovation opportunities. Government agencies, like all other organisations today, are needing to transform themselves to rise to the challenges of the 21st century. And to do this, they need to think differently and do differently. And intrapreneurs can be the driving force behind these changes. They are the most valuable of all employees. Forbes magazine entitled Beyond Employee Engagement, Why One Entrepreneur is Worth 100 Engaged Employees, says that upgrading even one person from engaged to intrapreneur can create more value than migrating a larger number of disengaged people to the engaged group. And this is because intrapreneurs are aware of the strategic bigger picture and they act like leaders through cost reducing and revenue raising initiatives, even if they are not in official leadership positions. Bringing an entrepreneurial mindset to public service can help government achieve many of the key goals, such as cutting red tape, streamlining bureaucratic processes, enhancing procurement, transitioning to digitization, and diversifying delivery modes, to name just a few. In their book, Stretch, Williard and Mystic reveal that up to 67% of millennials want to work as entrepreneurs at some point in their lives. Now, if government agencies can give young people the opportunity to unleash some of that entrepreneurial vision, then they will attract talented millennials who want to change the world. So to answer the question that I posed right at the beginning, no, it's not an oxymoron. There are many talented entrepreneurs within the public sector. Because of the kind of work I do, I've had the privilege of meeting and working with many of them firsthand. But, and, and yes, there is a but, we need more, many, many, many more. Being encouraged to think like an intrapreneur is a relatively recent development in the public sector. Consequently, there is now a huge skills gap when it comes to developing the kind of entrepreneurial thinking that is needed to develop and deliver 21st century services to the community in innovative ways in order to create public value. That is not to say that the potential does not exist. There are many government employees who are more than capable of developing and demonstrating intrapreneurial thinking and behaviour given some encouragement, some training and the opportunity. So if you would like to find out how, then email us on admin at drarenayashinshaw.com and request my latest white paper called Human Helium, Creating Intrapreneurs in the Public Sector Who Will Help Agencies to Soar. I look forward to hearing from you and seeing you soon.